Okay, so now we're going to be doing section 3.1, question number 31, because I actually took the time and wrote the question number down. All right, so we're going to be finding as the limit approaches x approaches 3. So basically what we really want to do right now is um, simplify this down. So we have x squared minus 9, which um, if you factor that out is going to be x plus 3 and uh, x minus 3 over x minus 3. You can actually go ahead and cast out those x minus 3, so we're just left with x plus 3. So we want to see what happens when x is approaching 3, so we're going to substitute that x for 3. So it's going to be 3 plus 3 equals 6. So as x approaches 3, the limit becomes 6 right here, and that's how you're going to solve the second question.